Let's talk about the GB40 first. The NOCO GB40 is a lightweight and compact lithium-ion jump starter that may be used for a wide variety of vehicles, including cars, boats, motorcycles, ATVs, lawnmowers, RVs, tractors, and trucks. It poses negligible risk to everyone who uses it. It is protected against sparks and polarity inversion. Most single battery applications can be quickly kickstarted with the GB40, and it can do so up to 20 times on a single charge. With its USB battery pack and LED flashlight, the GB40 is the best possible device to have on hand in case of an emergency. The GB40 needs to be fully charged before it can be used, as it only has a partial charge when first removed from the packaging. Before attempting to jumpstart your vehicle, be sure you know all the safety precautions and best practices outlined in the owner's manual. Before using this product, check the battery owner's handbook to learn about the battery's voltage and chemistry. But remember that only 12-volt lead-acid batteries can be jumpstarted with the GB40. Make sure you have a 12-volt lead-acid battery before hooking up any accessories. No other battery type will work with the GB40. Figure out which way the battery terminals should face. POS, P, or plus are common symbols used to denote the positive battery terminal. Letters or symbols like these are commonly used to denote the negative battery terminal, NEG, N, or minus. Stay away from the carburetor, gasoline lines, or any other thin metal components. So, how do you jumpstart using this device? The first is to verify the voltage and chemistry. The next thing to do is to confirm that the HD battery clamps are connected to the correct polarity battery terminals. Then you connect the HDX connector to the GB40. Then, before you press the power button, make sure that you know all of your vehicle's power load. Then, press the power button to begin the jump start. All LEDs will flash, indicating that all LEDs are properly functioning. After this is done, try starting the vehicle. Most vehicles should start immediately, but others might take 30 seconds before starting. One thing to note is that you should not attempt more than 5 jump starts in a 15 minute period and let the battery rest for 15 minutes before you start it up again. It's a pretty decent battery, but the 12 volt cap might just limit your jump start options for bigger vehicles. Oh, and you can even charge your smartphone or any USB device from this jump starter. Duracell. Next on our list is the Duracell Jump Starter. It's a 12,000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery pack, which is more powerful than any other pack we've evaluated. Claiming to be able to start automobiles with up to eight cylinders, in addition to its more usual use, the single 5 volt 2.4 amp USB port means it may be used as a standard power bank as well. The 200 lumen LED flashlight has low, high, and SOS settings. The pack may be recharged using either the provided micro USB connection or a standard USB wall charger. Along with the specialized jump start connector, the box also includes a convenient drawstring pouch for storing the contents. With rubberized port covers, the pack is protected from the elements and can keep charged for up to a year, as claimed by Duracell. It has an IP65 rating for weather resistance. This is one of the largest packs we've looked at, measuring 18 centimeters in length, 8 centimeters in width, and 3.26 centimeters in thickness. The item weighs a total of 430 grams. So, how does it work? The Duracell Lithium Ion Jump Starter is similar to a standard power bank in that it can charge your phone, but it has significantly more juice, enough to jumpstart automobiles with up to 8 cylinders or over 4 liters of fuel capacity. Once you plug in the jumper cables, the green light will begin to blink. After the safe jump circuitry verifies the polarity and voltage of the car, the LED will turn solid green. This is accomplished by connecting the red wire to the positive terminal and the black cable to the negative. After this, you will be good to go. If you turn the key for no longer than 4 seconds at a time, the engine should start right away. If not, wait 30 seconds before turning the key again. Due to its bulk, the Duracell Jump Starter is best kept in a vehicle at all times. Though it can power your phone, the pack is very cumbersome to carry along. One of its best features is that you may bypass the Energizer's huge, cumbersome attachment to the jumper cables by plugging them right into the pack. The fact that it can withstand the elements means that it can be used on jet skis and boats without damaging the electronics. Adieu. The final jump starter on our list is one from Adieu. Let's take stock of what we have before we go into the product operation. The charger, smart jumper cables, 
cigarette lighter converter, wall adapter, USB-A to USB-C cable, and USB-C to USB-C cable are all stored safely in the device's sturdy, hard carrying case. If your gadget isn't USB-C compatible, you'll need to supply your own USB-A to micro USB cable, but you probably have one hanging around. It has a 15 volt or 10 amp output outlet that may be used with a cigarette lighter adapter to provide 12 volt power to other portable equipment in the car, such as a portable tire inflator or chiller. After inspecting the item, we were delighted with how well it was constructed. If you're familiar with other portable jump starters, you'll notice that this one doesn't have a cheap feel to it. The overall design is pleasing without being flashy, and the ABS case feels sturdy enough to withstand scratches and drops. The power button and 15 volt or 10 amp outlet output are situated on the same side of the device, and the USB ports are grouped together with the LED flashlight. A connector for the smart extension cords can be found on the device's flip side. Oh, and it also has a flashlight built into it. Now, coming to how this device works, there will be a green or red light on the connector, depending on whether the cables are properly linked to the battery. Here, you can see if the cables are securely linked, and the automobile can be started. Red light and buzzing noise indicate a bad connection. Try switching the clamps. Check the clamps to make sure they are securely fastened, and then press the boost button on the connector if the light and buzzer are silent. Additionally, you'll need to press the boost button if the connector is buzzing and the green light is flashing. That means you have to press the boost button on the jump starter before it tries to start your automobile. It usually takes only one try to start smaller engines, but you might face some problems with the larger ones. So if you're looking for a portable jump starter, then this is one of the finest ones out there. It also doubles as a portable power bank that is capable of charging multiple devices at once. So that's all the time we had today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to remain updated about our future videos. See you all next time.